Hey. Oh no, what bad luck. Do you mind, man? Some people, right? Uh, hey there guys, welcome back to uh, 7 day series for Railway Empire. In this episode, we will talk about the game, but we'll also, uh, you know. Uh, but we'll also... Uh, why is Selena going down? What does it need that it's not get? See, it doesn't give any indication of what it is that is, is causing it to, to take a hit. Is it the lack of food, maybe? Which Wichita also isn't getting, but Wichita's getting beer, possibly? Is it because Kansas is growing, maybe? I don't know. Could be anything. Uh... So anyway, yeah, this is day number seven, and this is where we talk about stuff, um, and basically talk about the game. So, it is interesting. It's the type of game I tend to really enjoy. Uh, it has, however, been incredibly frustrating. Whether it's because I'm dumb and old and just set in my ways, or whether it's because it's an actually frustrating setup for a game, I'm not entirely sure. Ha <laughs> ha Built. So, uh, we'll make a rail line from Kansas City to Fayetteville. We'll ticket. We'll add locomotive. We will wait for more money because we don't have enough. Okay, they're still running. This damn uh, technology throws a wrench in the works too often, doesn't it? Sure. So, yeah, it's... Uh, let's just slow this down because I, I don't think we're going to get too much further in this run. Let's increase this, however, because I don't want more money. So, yeah, it's... Ooh, hello. Uh, sure. I actually bid more than I meant to. But if no one else bids, I'll at least get that cattle car. Look out. I've still got an ace or two up my sleeve. Okay. I don't know what's happening here. What? Oh, there's... Yeah. Okay. Go back to the research now. What? Were we there? No. Wait, we can go backwards? Why would we go backwards? Be careful, my dear. Railroads are a tough business. What? Okay. All right. I, I don't know what that... Uh... I'm confused. We've got six grand. Um, so yeah, let's talk about the game. Uh, it is a entertaining game, I think, given enough time to figure it out and not being within the constraints of needing to, uh, needing to kind of do videos, uh, you know, like, I think if I sat down with it for a while and kind of worked it out slowly, I think I'd get the hang of it and maybe even the realistic mode would be, uh, you know, good. The, the problems I'm facing with this is it feels like they wanted to make a board game type game. Uh, it, you know, it, it has, as I've said in, in previous uh, episodes, it has this kind of board game feel to it. And, you know, when your when you're competitors, you know, like I chose the, I chose the, like, the more difficult uh, rail setup. So you need signals and and like, you know, letting them go around and that kind of thing. And then the competitors don't do that anyway. So they have an advantage and it, it you know, it would involve me making some really complicated shit, pretty much. So it, it, it just didn't feel worth it, I guess. Um, you know, you, you, have to, you have to think about these kind of things because there are, there are, there are, aspects to it where you're like well you know doing all the intricate stuff sounds fun sure uh you know being a being able to build around and then put signals the signals were confusing i found the signals confusing i don't think it was set up in a particularly friendly way you know uh for for other games like this that i've played i've been able to figure it out for this one I wasn't really sure which way meant which, you know, maybe maybe the guys who made it, because they made it, you know, they kind of, it, they, they figured it would be easy for people. It was difficult for me. 
I got confused very quickly. Uh, and that's the main reason why I changed it to this system of trains can go through each other, because it was simpler than trying to figure this out. Uh, trying to figure out the, the, the signal system. Um... Yeah, the other reason I say it's it's it feels kind of board gamey is because you, you know, like this this kind of thing, like the Stokers, it's kind of cool, I, and I like it. You know, to say it's board gamey is not to detract from it, because as those of you who watch my channel will know, I tend to this play. This damn technology throws a wrench in the works too often, uh -huh, doesn't uh, it? Uh huh. Uh. And, and you know, you've you've got like these kind of. The, the art for all the characters and like for example for the personnel like it, it feels board gamey in that in that respect and having having the way you set up set things up like I'm gonna mention transport tycoon again because I love transport tycoon I think it's a great game and this has a very transport tycoon feel only with just trains um now I've, I've spoken about this before, but for example, if you're transporting uh, corn to Kansas City in Transport Tycoon, you'd build the train, you'd set up the route it's going to take, uh, and then you give it the uh, you give it the um, the carriages. So you actually attach the carriages onto the train, and that's how much you know corn it will be able to carry. And now what you can do is you can tell it to sit and wait to be full. Or go as soon as it, you know, go as soon as it's, it, you know, there's no more to take or, or anything along those lines. Um, if you want to deliver something from Fayetteville to to Kansas, what you can do is you can click on it, see what's available, and then be like, okay, the carriages you're going to have is five people carriages, two male carriages, and a furniture carriage. And then that's what it will transport every time. Whereas if you put it on all furniture carriages, it will only fill up all furniture. And that kind of thing makes it a lot easier to play. Whereas in, in this one, it's literally just like, you buy a train, you give it where it's gonna go. It's gonna go from Kansas City to Fayetteville. That's where it's gonna go. You see there, you got two sets of passengers, three sets of beer, and uh, three sets of mail. Fine. Sure. Now, this isn't this isn't a giant problem for the most part, right? Okay, we need cotton in there. All right. Uh, we can do that in a little bit. But uh, there was there was a previous campaign where I had to deliver dresses, like like clothing. Uh, if you remember it. Now, the problem with that is to to deliver the to deliver the clothing i had to collect, connect to new york and specifically deliver clothing to new york now i had a train going to other places and one of those places grew big enough to be interested in clothing now i couldn't stop them from delivering clothing to that place without getting rid of the train and destroying one of my income you know places so they're delivering clothing we were getting money for it but when it came to deliver clothing to New York, I couldn't set up a specific deliver. I couldn't set up a specific clothing delivery line. I had to set up a just a line, and I couldn't control what it took. Kansas City takes critical stance. Oh, bad press! Who reads the papers these days, anyway? I'm sure she's doing something. Also, I'm getting gangbanged by two ladies. Reduce the cost of new routes. I actually really like that. Sorry, him. Yeah. Uh, writes a critical newspaper article about your competitors. Reduces passenger income for ten. Oh, damn. That's uh, for ten weeks by fifty percent. That really is uh, a nasty. And yeah, that's another thing. Is like these employee things are really cool does feel quite uh similar to how to, sweet to... you have a new tie yeah uh do, does have aspects you know it feels like you get like a card 
in, in a game and then you like play it and you're like, haha. So this has a certain kind of uh, a multiplayer feel to it as well. Um, what? Can we upgrade? Almost 300 grand, okay. So let's speed this up. So yeah, it's um, it, it it's a fun it's a fun game, uh, and I think with with a bit of time put to it, it could definitely uh, it, it, it could definitely wow they are just fucking look at it like this. Bad press. At least you're in the paper, and with a photo too. This Darren technology throws a wrench in the works too often, doesn't it? Carry, uh, no, uh, deletes inconsistencies and bids for new locomotives, reduces purchase price, gets along well, but avoids dominant. The reporter writes critical news. I don't want I don't need to do the reporter thing. It's fine. Uh, Fayetteville has not really benefited, it doesn't look like, too much. And I don't really, I don't really want to build a lumber, um... Uh, I don't really want to take the lumber to here for the furniture because we can't sell the furniture in. Like, we can't transport the furniture to Kansas. So there's not really much need to do that. It all feels a little bit slapdash. Basically, that that's 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 the basic uh, that's the basic outtake I'd give you guys for this game. Is it's cool? Oh no. I quite what like bad it. luck. I like the idea especially. We could build a new industry here. Uh, except for we can't afford it, obviously. But we could. Uh yeah, it, it, it's it's got a three hundred thousand, okay. It, it's 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 a pretty interesting game, it's a pretty cool game. Uh, the, the problem I'm having being is that it does feel a bit slapdash. It does feel a bit like, like, oh, you want to grow Kansas City? Good luck. You know, it's kind of like, okay, well, thanks, I guess. You know, you, know, you, you try and, you try and build Kansas City it doesn't really give you the information exactly you need like what does Kansas need it needs lumber it needs 0.9 lumber what that means is that you have to build this you know build this lumber place and then deliver to there but it doesn't need that much lumber that's ridiculous it needs 0.9 lumber so if you deliver lumber there you're kind of dumb because the the the, the, the lumber it needs it is so little that it's not worth building a train just to take lumber there, you know. And then it's going to get over, over, over supplied in lumber. So I mean, what do you do? Do you uh, new technology giant joint? Yep, 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 yep. Problems in Kansas City. Oh no. Oh, yeah. bad press. Eat. Who reads the papers these days anyway? Eat Look, the most one of your trains is broken down. <sighs> She's not making friends. She is not making friends. Um, so yeah, you know, it, it, it's it, it's that kind of thing. Like, it, I understand the idea of it, but why would you build a lumber a lumber transport to this city when it? I guess I guess maybe grain is what we need to transport there. So uh, let's just upgrade the trains quickly. Like, I I it, it's. It's a little unclear to me what exactly is needed sometimes. So, expand this this way very slightly, like that. Yeah, there we go. And then this can go in here. Thirty grand. Shouldn't take long to make thirty grand. Uh, you know, no. So yeah, it's 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 aggravating in that way. 
Um, maybe it's maybe it's just the mentality I had for this game because I've played other games similar. It just didn't work. You know, I want to give it the benefit of a doubt because it's a fun game, but at the same time, it's frustrating. You know, it's it's often often frustrating. Because uh, I did I did go through the tutorial as well, but but this is the thing is. If you think about the realism mode, where you need like a train, you need to you need to kind of you need to have multiple places that go different ways. And oh, where's the fun without a bit of cheating, huh? This bitch. This bitch. Woo! Is your new locomotive as quick as it looks? Yeah, probably. Ninety-three grand for the ten-wheeler. Uh, it's faster. It's tractive power isn't as much. Never, never found out what tractive power means. I'm assuming, uh, like going up hills, maybe, possibly. I don't know. Uh, wait, how much was it? Ninety-three grand. Okay. Didn't mean to do that. So. Yeah, let's... Express line is in danger as fast as locomotive available. So that's, that's this one. That's our, we're, we're outspeeding our own train. Apparently. Um, so we'll deliver the grain here. This Darren technology throws a wrench in the works too often, doesn't it? Sure. I'm guessing she uh, she stole my technology again. So we'll deliver the grain here and see the, uh, the what how it affects Kansas. So, I guess they make more beer. They have what they need there, that's good. Um, they don't have the lumber or the meat, which is weird because we... Oh yeah, there's the meat, okay. Uh, then there's the beer. And then they don't have the cotton they need. They have sugar they need, they don't have the... Okay, so we'll give them the... We'll give them the cotton next. So small train station here. Here. To here. We need 136 grand. Probably shouldn't take too long to get actually. Uh, we're getting there already, but it doesn't see. It doesn't seem to have helped grow Kansas City. You know, do we need to? Do we need to attach more towns to it? Maybe. What? It, what exactly is it that it needs to grow bigger? Like, because that that adds more food, I guess, and possibly more jobs because of the brewery. Maybe if we maybe if we get the cotton attached to it. Then it will have. Uh huh. Maybe if we attach the cotton to it, then it will have a better. It, it will have more jobs, and then more people will come to the city. Possibly is that how it? it oh it... dear! There seems to be a little problem with one of your locomotives. I assume every time they say these things, it's because they fuck with me. Like they 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 like sabotage and stuff like that. It's very unclear though, so I'm not entirely sure. Uh, how's so Fayetteville isn't shrinking. It isn't getting any getting any bigger. Um, it 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 feel it feels like the the objective is to increase the sure. It feels like the objective is to increase the city. And the management of that is aggravating. So, it, it kind of leaves me with this, like... It kind of leaves me with this, with this fairly unimpressed... It could be, it could be done in a different way and better. <coughs> Pardon me. Increased profits from transported mail. 
Like, why, why does, why is this back here? And what are these trains? 37 miles per hour. So those are worse trains, but we have the technology. There's a lot unexplained that you kind of have to just guess about. I, I guess I, I don't I don't know. I I don't I don't like. This is the thing is, people tend not to mind as much if I shit on a game. When I shit on a game, people tend to be like, "Yeah, that game deserves it. Deserves it. It's shit." If I'm vaguely positive about a game, but I point out a lot of its flaws, people tend to have a problem with it. So, you know, because that, that tends to be people being like, I like this game. It's like, fair enough. I, I wasn't saying it's a bad game. I'm saying there's multiple issues with it that take away the enjoyment from this me. This Darren technology throws a wrench in the works too often, doesn't it? Sure. I'm assuming she, she stole technology off me. Again, it's not very intuitive. I'm not sure. A task is about to expire. How do I make Kansas City bigger? I've been delivering them grain. I've been delivering them corn. Is it the lumber? Do they need lumber? Is it the fact that they don't have vegetables or fruit? Because vegetables and fruit are... Uh, where's some vegetables? Where's some fruit? So, for the, yeah. So, I've given them everything they need, right? So, I'd have to get them vegetables from here. Just, just to grow Kansas, I'd have to get these vegetables. I'd have to take them all the way up to Kansas, probably attach them to Fayetteville, uh, and then drive them all the way, and uh, just to grow that a little bit more. It seems weird and, and strange. Like once you've figured these out a little bit, I guess you can, you can, like you know, keep an eye on things and then give them the right things at the wrong time. At the right time, it just seems. It doesn't seem like, you know, kind of build a railway empire. It seems more like city supply the game. And that's fine. You know, it can be fun. But that wasn't the I can't explain why your employee suddenly wants to work for me either. Okay, so I guess she stole one of my employees. I don't think I had any employees. Look out. I've still got an ace or two up my sleeve. Uh-huh. So yeah, uh, you know, it, it's it's not. I didn't. I guess I didn't come into this game with the right. Look, one of your trains is broken down. Uh huh. Uh huh. I guess I didn't come into this game with the right mindset. Um, I was expecting something that it isn't really. It's 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 an interesting game, and I think I I think I'd have fun kind of figuring it out slowly. Unfortunately, it's a seven-day series. I want to kind of present the game, get through it fairly quickly, and there are a lot of things holding me up in this game. So, you know, my my I don't I don't do reviews. I don't like say I don't like saying like definitely get this game or definitely don't get this game or whatever. Um, however, I will say it's an interesting game. It looks kind of cool. It plays fairly cool. It's frustrating if you yeah see again no return to me. I don't. Mm. Um, I think I think some of the failings are mine because I didn't learn the right way, like how to play the game. I figured it would play a different way, and I played it a different, a slightly different way. You know, I was playing it to to kind of make money instead of concentrating on this objective first, which is growing the city. Which means you need lumber there. You need. But at the same time, you know, it would be so much easier. It'd feel like it'd feel like much less of a waste to have one train that picks up two lumber, and then picks up two corn, and then picks up this and picks up that, and it goes around, picks up all the things it needs, and delivers it instead of having a train for lumber to deliver to here, a train for lumber to deliver to here, and you know, etc., etc., etc. It. Maybe that's possible, but I couldn't see or figure out a way to do it. Anyway, that's Railway Empire, guys. I like it, but it's not quite how I'd like the game to be, so it's very frustrating, and I I, I had issues with it, definitely. Regardless, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. It always helps out a lot, and of course, I do really appreciate it. Next 7-day series, don't know what it will be, so keep an eye out for it, and I'll see you in the next one. Boink, boink.